Hello and welcome to episode two of Ginny Gain and Meets. We are going to meet the wonderful Martin Rogers in charge of wigs and wardrobe. And because it's the Jubilee edition, I might treat him to a very special visitor. Yes, here we go. Come in. Hello, dear. Oh, that's your mom. Yeah, where are the corgis? Well, not here. Not here. It's me. Not here. It's not me. in the wardrobe. Why? Um, that was the royal bit. Hello. Hi. How are you? I'm alright, thanks. Are you? Yeah. Doing your washing. Bit of ironing. Bit of work. So, you know. so, so, on a serious side. Yeah. How is it being in wardrobe? Is it, is it as tough as, you know, everyone thinks it is with all our costumes and all the washing, all the ironing? It has its challenges. But I've done it for over 12 years now on this show. So. And how many costumes? I must enjoy it. You must enjoy it. Yeah. And I've worked with you a couple of years ago, yes, and we're still yeah. back, we're still here. Yeah. I still... Yeah, that's not nice. So, how many costumes are there in the show? Everybody has one costume that they're wearing, yeah. and one that's in the wash. So although they're only wearing one costume on stage at any one time, they've got two costumes. So they wear clean every single show. And are there spares, so if there's, a, like, sometimes we get um, tears in tights, yeah. and we get caught on belts and things like that during lifts, so are there all spares as well if yes. one's in the wash? Yeah, yeah, okay. we have plenty of spares, and just how, in case. Just in case. And how many fishnets and tights have we been through in the last 15 years, do you think? In the last 15 years, I think we're now up to about 6,500 pairs. Just a few? Just a few. Just a few. But when a pair of tights goes and they're black, you can see it so much on stage, so we have to replace. And are they special tights, or are they just from the shop? They're actually day, day. everyday tights. They're very special tights. But they're sheer to the waist. <laughs> <laughs> and um, what about um, costumes for the principals? Are they? Do you have a load of those, and are they tailored, or are they made? The majority of them made for the people who are playing those roles. Um, once they've been made, we then put them into storage and then we'll use them for understudies um, if they're the right size or we'll need to adapt them. And things like the Roxy costumes, which maybe we could have a look at a bit yep. later on, they've got all black crystals on. Yes. Now, where are they special crystals? They're special hot stone crystals, so they're actually stuck on. And that's you all melt done the by hand? Underneath. Yeah, but every single one is put on by hand. And are they Swarovski crystals? They are. Can we have a little look? Of course can. Have yeah. a look. So, and this is the gorgeous little, Sarah Soto answer. Yes. It is indeed. A little secret, nobody actually knows that Roxy has two dresses. Oh, you see. So we have this dress, which has a full skirt and full sleeves that she wears at the beginning. And that's she's for, very demure. And that's for funny honey, up the ladder. Yes. And then she has this dress, which is straight and has straight sleeves, which is for Roxy. Which and they is, both yeah. sit over a little undergarment, but we'll move away from that. Well, onto the undergarment as well, though. That's what we call the contraption, isn't yes. it? Which is... Basically, bra and knickers combined, because the dresses have no back to them, or they have a very low back, and a bra would normally go across here, so they're constructed so that the bra actually goes down to the knickers, knickers holds the back of the bra down. And sometimes, depending on the, the shape of the Roxy, you sometimes change the neckline, don't you? Yep. So it's a, a low-cut neck. Sometimes we have an open neck, sometimes course. we have a high neck. But... And does that, does that also um, depend on what wig she's going to wear, what the cut of the dress is? Um, not so much the wig, but certainly it depends on the body shape, okay. whether we need to accentuate the bust line or we can cover the bust line. You'd never up. give me any padding, Martin. I don't need no, any. No, you don't indeed. Um, <coughs> Moving on. But you do do wigs on that. I do. Okay. So yes. can we have a little look? Of course. In, in the, in the Shall we department? go through to the wig room? Let's go through to the wig room. Okay. I couldn't get out. <laughs> so here we are in the wig room. It's a bit toasty. It would be toasty because we're standing right by the wig oven, which is where we put all our wigs to bake. So we put them on rollers and then we put them in the oven and that sets them and then when they're cool we dress them out and there's one over here which we're in the throes of dressing out. And which character is this? That's Mary Sunshine. 
That's Mary Sunday. And this is our cover today, is it? Yes, it is. Yes. Okay, okay. So every uh, ensemble who is also a cover, they have their own wigs. They yes, don't they have do. to wear the principal's wigs. No, they have. everybody has their own wigs. So that makes for a lot more wigs. Yes. How so many do we have? Mainly this, this shelf here would be our show tonight, yeah. which is why it's empty because, because everything is in there dry, drying. And this is our understudy shelf so we've got Roxy Velma oh, and Mary on our finish, and then on stage just... on our finish. thank you that's our our special DJs going on tonight as Velma <laughs> which we'll, we'll talk about later um sorry carry on so we have we have the swings so your wigs in fact your wigs here because we I'm on tonight I'd like you to meet Shirley this is Shirley as in Shirley MacLaine you don't mind that do you no good <laughs> <laughs> and we also have some more costumes down there. We do, we're a little bit short of space in the wardrobe, so we've uh, nicked a bit of space down on the floor, so we've got a... Food pads, again. Girls pants. None needed. Girls pants, belts and braces for the boys. Um, so you dye a lot of the wigs as well, or they come in the right colour, or...? If they don't come in the right colour and they're, they're near, then we put colours onto them to make them the right colour, to work with the right person. And no boys wigs at all? No. Have we had any boys No, we've never had. If they don't have hair, they don't have hair. If they have hair, they have hair. That's it. Whereas number one wouldn't really go with them. No, it wouldn't. Do you have a favourite department? Um, yeah, about halfway between the two of them. Oh, really? That's my favourite. Or the pub next stop. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, thank you very much. Okay. And I look forward to you putting a shield yeah. on my hair later Good luck for tonight. Hope yeah. it goes all right. Ah. <laughs>